Following the directive of the executive governor of River State, Nyesom Ezenwawiki, surveyors and land officers from the offices of Surveyor General and River State Ministry of Lands have visited Government Comprehensive Secondary School Borokri Port Harcourt to reclaim the hijacked and encroached lands meant to serve the welfare and comforts of students, teachers and management of the school. Generally speaking, I mean from the general overview of the entire school environment and the neighborhood, um, it's a clear, it, it's, this is a clear manifestation of um, rascality on the part of, you know, private, in, I mean, and the general public over and against, you know, government infrastructure and all that. We're here specifically on the instruction of His Excellency the Governor of River State to identify the precise perimeter and the exact extent of land that was acquired and allocated for this, the purpose of uh, the um, construction of this institution have been issued up to today. But we have seen that there have been quite a number of encroachments from left, right and centre. And the directive is what we are following to the letters. Two, using available technologies and instrumentations and, and, and survey technologies to ensure that we re-establish the exact boundaries of this school. And peradventure there are um, um, encroachments, structures that are not developed by the university government within the perimeter of this, this space will definitely be marked by the Ministry of Lands, the land officers, and then in conjunction with the Ministry of Education, the Permanent Secretary Ministry of Education, the Permanent Secretary Ministry of Lands, and I, the Surveyor General, Permanent Secretary Ministry of, I mean, Office of Surveyor General of River State, have been directed to do the need for. And the first step by, of, you know, in, 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 in um, actualizing that directive by His Excellency, or carrying out this directive with His Excellency, is to come physically on ground, carry out a reconnaissance, confirm the extent from physical um, perception and then using survey instruments to re establish, remap and re establish the exact boundaries of um, government comprehensive secondary school for the protocol. But in a nutshell, I mean, going further, we have also ob observed massive improvements on government lands all around the entire state and especially within this axis of the, the, the secondary school. And maybe in due course, of course, with the establishment of the land recovery committee. Land and House and um, Housing Recovery Committee set up by His Excellency and headed by the Head of Service of the U.S. State Government with the Permanent Secretaries of the two line ministries and other members. The His Excellency has directed that uh, we come to Government Comprehensive Secondary School Boratory to mark out the perimeter uh, fence of the school as to determine the size of the school as also to know those how does it feel to regain a seemingly lost property? We are highly delighted to see the action of government into our school here. We have been expecting that because of the encroachment and also trespasses everywhere, everywhere are road. So with the presence of the government, we hope things will change. I am so happy if the school environment will come back to its former glory, I will be so glad it comes up. As a school, we appreciate all that the governor has been doing. We are glad, especially in the area of, uh, of the school, the education. He has really made a great impact in the life of the teachers, students, and even parents. The students also shared in the joy of what could be seen as almost lost but recovered glory. There's no cause for alarm. We have come to secure the boundaries of the schools so that you can learn and work on the value of and the school is properly secured without any further disruptions and uh, interruptions of your, your education. So just be of good conduct and remain calm. The government is interested in your welfare. So just be rest assured that the promises that the government has made will be brought to bear with the school and then the glory, the lost glory of this institution will be regained. God bless you all and be of good conduct, okay? Viva! Comprehensive! Viva! Comprehensive!
the essence of the state government's directive is to ensure security and protection of government properties against the unguarded disposition of some lawless citizens or individuals. Our contribution is to determine who has trespassed into government land and to make sure that those that have trespassed should be vacated immediately. And I believe that God helping us with availability of technology and modern technology and expertise available within the government of River State will be able to actualize this and ensure that the government lands are adequately protected, government infrastructures and facilities, especially educational and health and living neighborhoods are brought back to what they ought to really be. And we are all grateful to His Excellency because of the vision and the passion with which he's going about this. And I can, I can tell you, at the end of the day, just like they say, the beginning is usually very torturous and very, very um, um, rough. But at the end of the day, and I thank God that the people of Rivers are beginning to see and begin to reap, are beginning to reap the dividend of, the, of, of, of good governance, which is clearly manifest in the governance in Rivers State. The alleged encroachers were served one month notice from the date of completion to vacate as failure in compliance with the state government's directive which amount to forceful actions of eviction.